I grew up in the forest landscape of Sweden, so I think the forest landscape is what, what I always come back to. So when you enter the dock, um, you see there's different colours um, on the stairs that will lead you up into the exhibition space. Um, it's called The Last Wilderness. The proposition that I made is in the post-nature future, the unconscious mind will be the last wilderness. It's the idea of if wilderness is sort of changed uh, over time and we kind of harness nature in different ways, and there's still the kind of aspect of the human mind that we can't harness, and that's, that's why the proposition is that if uh, if we get rid of wilderness in nature, there's still going to be this wild aspect to us. I went over to an old theatre in, uh, in a town called Boston and, and shot a film there. It's called Tonight at the Magic Theatre. It was basically shot in the forest uh, close to my family farm and it was shot in the theatre. And it's looking at the kind of surreal aspects of push and pull between what's real and what's not. You don't know, is it a dream or is it real or what's actually going on? So that's, that's in Gallery 1. The paintings, which are in Gallery 2, are put up on false walls, they're kind of referencing kind of theatre sets. When you look at my paintings, a lot of them look like they're in the middle of like this like epic wilderness, but actually where I would have painted them would have been maybe just a few feet away from these buildings. So like it's all this kind of way of like constructing wilderness. You're presenting something that you propose as like a, a real thing, but then it's actually just completely constructed. I'm really, really interested in the kind of idea of staging things, but also showing the process. In the third gallery, in the little gallery, there's um, a, an icicle drip piece. It's basically made out of poured plaster. It was when it was in Norway, they were just, it was in the spring, so there was just this kind of dripping and melting constantly going on with the ice and snow. Stalagmites and stalactites, that kind of slow kind of pouring process of it kind of building up. Um, so there's a piece in there also. Um, with that piece, I'm kind of looking at the kind of Jungian aspect of the kind of core of the personality, the kind of glowing center. Um, so that's, uh, that's also referenced in that piece. The forest landscape is what, what I always come back to, but it's also the aspect of the inner landscape um, inside us that I'm very interested in. So it's this push and pull between the inner landscape and the outer landscape and being lost in the woods in different ways. <laughs>